Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you are new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any questions you want me to cover in future videos and whatnot, you can drop them down below or send me an email. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared prepared come exam day. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. So we're talking about commission. Uh, we've been doing real estate commission problems all week. And I'm not saying this is going to be the final week we're doing commission problems because you know what? This is such an important thing to learn, especially when we're talking about, well, I guess not just your real estate exam, but your real estate career. You got to know that you're getting paid and you know how much and all that good stuff. It's super important to know. But yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this real estate commission problem. All right, so it says, you work for a broker that gives you a 50% commission on every sale you make. In a transaction, your broker receives a $45,250.50 check. How much do you get in terms of commission? And it gives you four options. I'm not gonna read through the numbers because there's a lot of numbers in those options, but basically you're gonna have to figure out how much you got in terms of commission. So I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to figure it out, do the math here, all that good stuff. Feel free to pause as well. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer. So what is the correct answer for this one? Well, it's going to be C, that's right. It's this $22,625.25. That is how much you would get in terms of commission. And think about it, it's 50% of this right here. So let's do that. Let's do that real fast. Let's do the math. So we're gonna take that 45, 250, 0.5 and then what are you doing? You're dividing that by 0.5 or of course 50%. And what are you going to what are you going to get for that? Well, you're going to be getting that number right there, that 22625.25. So, a couple things. First off, don't overthink these problems. I I guess if I'm going to conclusively talk about commission problems, I have a couple things that I want to get off my chest and explain to you guys. One, don't overthink these problems. A lot of these problems, when it comes to the arithmetic involved in real estate commission problems, you're only multiplying or dividing maybe like one or two, two items uh, or two numbers. It's really not that difficult. What's difficult about these problems, which I would say is number two on the important tier list of when we're talking about real estate commission problems, is that you need to figure out the order or whether or not you're going to be multiplying or dividing and depending on the question. So if it's asking you uh, how much you're going to be getting in terms of commission, you have to look at those numbers that they give you. And then you have to figure out, okay, well, it says here that the broker received this check and I would get 50% of that. So I would divide by 0.5. Now, obviously, you could also divide by 2, but I don't want to get into that. I don't want to confuse you guys. But basically, if you know 50%, that's going to be half of that. So that's where that you know dividing by 2 would be. But you always want to use the uh, percentage because guess what? They could totally change this for the problem. Uh, and let's see, instead of you know 50%, it could be 45% or it could be 30% or whatever the case might be. But the point I'm trying to get is that these problems are not that difficult. And hopefully by now, hopefully by the end of this week, you guys understand these commission problems. Because again, really, it's just kind of sitting there, evaluating the problem, thinking about what they're asking, figuring it out, and then just doing the math. And again, that math part is not the hard part of these questions. The hardest part of these questions is figuring out what they're asking and what numbers you need to multiply or divide. It's as simple as that. Um, but yeah, so honestly, hopefully you guys are experts on commission now. Again, I'm not going to completely end the real estate commission problems in this uh, series. Next week, we're gonna, definitely going to do some other stuff other than real estate commission. I may... Uh, 
do more commission problems in the near, well, I guess in the far future, depending on how this daily real estate math question series is going and whatnot. Because again, it's such an important thing. Um, and, and not only for the exam, because these questions do come up, but also for your career. I mean, you got to know how you're going to get paid, right? Um, you you want to make sure you're not getting a smaller check or, you know, getting screwed or something like that. But yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it for this week and this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate you guys spending time with me today. Um, you guys are such fantastic audience. You guys are such great fans. Uh, really, this channel's just been growing, growing, and it's getting better every week. So thank you for that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see you guys next time.